I remember in the past when we try and go somewhere as a group of friends, right? We'll call up other friends who says, have you gone to this building? Is it accessible? Or where are the entrances? And sometimes you find the entrances at you know loading bays, through the kitchen, through where delivery comes in, and you use that as the only means of access. If, for example, we know as users as well as people who come and visit these places that these spaces are accessible, for example, right? We don't mind trying to explore. But if, for example, we know for a fact that the entrance is not accessible, uh, we wouldn't even bother to try because it's a waste of time. Now. But at least it helps us to know which places not to go and help us to go to places that are more uh, welcoming and friendlier. Maxwell Market was quite a surprise because of that table that was the only one that was accessible but had no other seats around. I mean, if I go to Maxwell Market, I don't want to be eating alone, like sitting by myself. All the places that we went to today, I would say they are considered like adventurous spots for me because I would never ever travel out of the way in all these very secluded parts of Singapore to actually go for a meal. I would say like the last place that we went to, Tong Ah Eating House, it was like completely inaccessible but the warmth of the people who were running the place really touched me. They were so willingly giving a helping hand to like take us in, like lifting us up two steps and that was challenging and basically just were very hospitable and I guess that final place that we went to was really enjoyable and we had a good meal. When you run a business, you should help the, the handicapped people for convenience to visit. We will try to help them for the wheelchair to come in, carry the wheelchair or help them on the arms to come in for the dinner. If not, they go nowhere for dinner or lunch.